The Peter and Pete show's on. I love this. Rock music. All jokes aside, lads, I like your show. I think you're two cracking blokes, but I've been a little bit naughty. Um, I started a new channel, and as you know, I posted a question on your channel. Let's see how it went. Uh, now we had a we had conspiracy cats left. Your videos are amazing, very well put together, and the ICT use is it's great. great. Hold on, however, let me just make, make this bigger. However, water is so easily proved as, as being H two O. So I started with a really subtle gesture, just letting you know that I think clearly water is made of hydrogen and oxygen. I wonder how you responded. Oh look! So we replied to that person and said. Oh, oh, somebody oh. is proving water is H2O. Let's do it. Show it to be true so we can end this. this absolutely. And I hope by end this you mean end the show. Um, anyway, it was a very polite reply. So I carried on. Visually. Anyway. But anyway. I make and separate water all the time in the classroom. Conspiracy cats are absolutely he And this is where I got a little bit naughty. You see, a lot of people over on Sheeps and Neeps channel and on my own channel, were telling me just how good your videos were and just how persuasive you were. So I thought I'd test you out without you even knowing on just a little bit of basic chemistry. Just a little bit. Well, okay. You've not told us how you make and separate water in the classroom that proves water is made of H2O. So please tell us. We'd love to know. So I said this. Conspiracy cats, I literally decompose limestone to make oxygen and keep it in one, one bell, bell jar. jar. I then create hydrogen through the reaction of any acid plus metal. Absolutely. Both gases are the syringed are, are then syringed, syringed into, into the, the same container, container and a lit splint is placed into them. After the very low pop, the lid is replaced and time is left for the produced water to condense. Now, see, here's the thing. In that statement, I set you a little trap, or, or test even, um, but you failed. Oh, oh. And then okay, let's try it again now. Here's a little clue to what I said that was wrong. Conspiracy cats, I literally decomposed limestone to make oxygen. Conspiracy cats, I literally decomposed limestone to make oxygen. Conspiracy cats, I literally decomposed limestone to make oxygen. Now, not only did you not pick up on that, and I'll let you research why that was wrong, but your response afterwards as well showed just as many glaring errors. Now, you remind me of someone I had an argument with once when I was at school. Um, now, he told me that if he was ever going to enter a race in a car, he will fill the petrol tank up to the maximum because he knows that petrol makes a car go. So therefore, the more petrol you've got, the faster you can go. All right, clear link for him. Yeah, petrol makes a car go, therefore more petrol. And he couldn't see, he didn't have that next level of understanding to see why what he was saying was completely stupid. Now, you are really nice guys, right? And I don't want to offend you in any way, shape or form, but you are operating on that level chemically now, you know, or in terms of your chemistry. The comments you're coming out with about conductivity, and catalysts, etc., your electrolysis comments are all on that level. So, I'm going to make an offer, really personal and friendly offer. One, I come on your show, maybe we mirror it on both channels, and uh, we have a really polite debate. I can send you links to other debates I've done, and, um, and, and you'll see that I'm quite a reasonable guy. Two, if you want, I'll give you a chemistry test live on your show. Anthony Riley, Sleeping Warrior, um, the flat earther who's often on Nathan Oakley's debate. He sat a physics paper for me. Again, the link is on my other channel. Uh, he passed, he did really well. You can watch the edit. It was all done very respectfully, all right? That's my challenge to you. I don't think you're gonna accept it um, because I don't think you can pass it. 
Now, you might wonder why this is important to me and I'm, I'm pushing this point. Well, out there are lots of vulnerable people. Um, vulnerable people who might listen to, to things like put more petrol in your car, it'll go faster. And they don't have that other level of understanding, but they, they take it on board and then they suffer ridicule because of it. And I know it's not your intention, but that's what you're doing. So show me, show me you've got that chemistry knowledge. Let's have a debate. Let's have a chat. What do you say?